Are you having trouble downloading GarageBand onto your Mac? Well, you're not alone. This seems to be a big issue affecting a lot of Mac users at the moment. Let's dive in. A quick note before we dive in, if you are familiar with some of the fixes I'm going to be talking about in this video already, you can use the timestamps down below to skip to something that you're more interested in and avoid me waffling on about something you already know about. The latest version of GarageBand version 10.4 is only available to users who are running macOS 11 Big Sur. So if you haven't updated to Big Sur, doing so will allow you to download GarageBand from the Mac App Store. Simple, right? Well, uh, no. Hardware and software compatibility issues and macOS updates go hand in hand nowadays, unfortunately. So holding off from updating to Apple's shiny new operating system until all the wrinkles have been ironed out is perfectly understandable. Having said that, most big issues with Big Sur have now been sorted. A quick Google search will be able to tell you whether a particular piece of hardware or software that you rely on is compatible with Big Sur. Another issue you may run into regarding Big Sur is the age of your Mac. Machines older than six or seven years old are unable to install Apple's latest operating system and as such are unable to install the latest version of GarageBand. Owning an older Mac can actually stop you from accessing any version of GarageBand, but more on that later. If you have a machine older than the models displayed on screen now, then unfortunately you won't have access to Big Sur or GarageBand version 10.4. If you do decide to update to macOS Big Sur, then as always, make sure you do a Time Machine backup first. That way, if you do have compatibility issues or just hate it or something, you can always revert back to your current setup. If you don't currently have GarageBand installed on your Mac and can't access the latest version via the Mac App Store, but have had it downloaded and installed at some point using the iCloud account tied to your current machine, open the Mac App Store, click on your face, it's in the bottom left of the window for me, it may be somewhere else for you if you're running a version of macOS older than Mojave, Scroll through this list of previously purchased apps until you find GarageBand. Click to download it and the last available version that is compatible with your machine will be installed on your Mac. No, this won't be the latest version of GarageBand version 10.4, it'll most likely be version 10.3.5, which despite looking different from the current version, works in exactly the same way. So you're not missing out on any big new features or anything like that by using this previous version. This issue is heartbreakingly disappointing stuff from Apple. In fact, the only way I'm going to get over it is if you, yes, you, restore my faith in humanity by showing me some thumb love down below. If you've bought an older Big Sur incompatible Mac secondhand and don't have any purchase history linked to your iCloud account, then you're probably wondering how you can download an older version of GarageBand that work with your machine, right? Like there must be a link or a web page somewhere on Apple's website that allows users with older Macs to download a version of GarageBand that's compatible with their machines, right? 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 Well, no. No, there isn't. Well, that about takes care of everything for this video. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, I have no idea why Apple have decided to effectively block new users with older Macs from downloading older versions of GarageBand from the Mac App Store. 
especially as on iOS when you go to GarageBand's iOS App Store listing on an older device and hit download, you're told that this version isn't supported and asked if you'd like to download the latest version your iOS device supports. It's bizarre. I honestly thought I must be missing something really obvious. So I reached out to Apple support on Twitter, figuring that surely they'd be able to point me in the right direction. After offering the solutions I've already mentioned in this video, they invited me to DM them for more info, which I did. After meeting them in DM, the Apple support person went on to say that it does not appear that there is a way to get an older version of GarageBand without owning the software previously. They went on to say that I could schedule a call with a GarageBand specialist to discuss further, which I did. The person on the phone was very nice and was genuinely trying to be helpful, but in the end confirmed that there is currently no way to get an older version of GarageBand unless you've owned the software previously. So there's your definitive answer. It can't be done. Not officially, anyway. While researching this, I came across a couple of videos that claim to show how you can download an older version of GarageBand. Not from Apple, but from a third-party website. It all looks a wee bit shady to me, so I'm not going to share links to those videos here. But if you search on YouTube, they're not difficult to find if you're desperate and want to go the bootleg route. If you don't fancy that, I'd suggest contacting Apple directly, either via Apple support or even better, through their GarageBand feedback page. Yes, Apple have a GarageBand specific feedback page apparently. And you can voice your concerns about this issue there. You may think, meh, what's the point? But feedback like this has helped fix GarageBand before. Back when version 10 was first released, Apple ripped out all third-party plugin functionality, leaving the program pretty much unusable for all but the most basic functions. Cue a massive backlash from users, and within a month, all of those features were put right back into the program. So definitely take some time to send Apple some feedback about this problem. Right then, if you're hungry for more GarageBand flavoured knowledge bombs, you can check out my GarageBand for Beginners playlist right here. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.